Now, the story of the game, in my opinion, was Taylor Heineke, the man, this really cool quarterback, the, the backup for Washington who was starting the game because Alex Smith is hurt. And the minute I heard that Alex Smith wasn't playing, I went, oh, no. I, I literally went, I audibly said to my dad, oh, no. You know, this could be a blowout. This could be a terrible game because a backup quarterback against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, no way. And met Taylor Heineke battled his tail off. It was so much fun. And actually, uh, watching Taylor Heineke run around the way he did and extend plays, uh, escaping sacks, I think he actually did better than Alex Smith could have done. Taylor Heineke, uh, because of his mobility, ability to extend plays and throw the ball downfield, I mean, he did stuff I just don't know that Alex Smith would have been, been able to do. He had that touchdown where he dove from the four-yard line, fully extended with the ball to the pylon. I'm like, ah, it's so much fun to watch this guy. He made great decisions. He was super accurate. And it was just such a joy to watch Taylor Heineke do as well as he did. Now, uh, here's what his numbers were in the game. I mean, here's what I thought was cool about Taylor Heineke. He made Tom Brady sweat. There were moments at the end of the game where you could see Tom Brady was going, this kid better not score. I mean, we were only up eight points. And this kid, because he, he fought the entire game, keeping the reason why Washington was in the game against Tampa Bay was none other than Taylor Heineke making play after play after play. Uh, he was 26 for 44 passing up, 306 yards, one touchdown, had an interception, but I got tipped off a defender's hands. I, I felt bad for that interception. It's like, ah, that's just not really anything you can do about it. He also had ran for a touchdown. What's crazy is that he was going throw for throw with Tom Brady in only his second ever start in the NFL. And imagine that your second ever NFL start came in the playoffs against Tom Brady. Like, Bam, that's crazy to me. And he not only really did he do well, he showed up. He kept his team in the game. And this is a guy who was the XFL St. Louis Battlehawks backup quarterback last year. He played in the XFL and wasn't even a starter in the XFL, but he came to the NFL, showed out, played great. And I, oh man, I really loved it. Uh, I believe he earned himself a contract for next year, whether it's in Washington or somewhere else. If I'm Washington, I'm not letting the guy leave. I'm like, hey, we'll give you some money. Stay on our team. Like, we want you here. Um, and it's kind of crazy because six weeks ago, Taylor Heineke was taking college classes at his alma mater, Old Dominion, finishing up a mathematics degree. Like, what? That's crazy to me. And also, uh, another narrative here that is honest and true is that watching Taylor Heineke, frankly, shred the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it wasn't like the Buccaneers were bad. It was that Heineke was making throw after throw after throw into tight windows. Like, just really great throws and really great decisions. And I know that you can say, well, it makes the Buccaneers defense look bad. I think, honestly, it just made everyone else go, wow, Heineke can play. And the reality is that what it really did here is made, it put Dwayne Haskins to shame. Dwayne Haskins got cut by the Washington football team earlier this year. He's a former first-round pick who played for them. And, you know, a second-year quarterback. Dwayne Haskins... Never once in Washington looked very prepared or very, like he was doing a lot of work off the field. This guy, Taylor Heineke, came in with a couple weeks' notice, learned the playbook. I, I think he already knew it from the Panthers. Remember, he played for Scott Turner, who's the offensive coordinator in Washington in Carolina. He knew the offense already. But my point is, he looked way more prepared than Dwayne Haskins ever looked. And that's not good. That a first-round quarterback got embarrassed by Taylor Heineke playing way better than he could. I just, man, I, I also got to say that Washington, did anybody see Chase Young, the rookie defensive end for Washington, celebrating with Taylor Heineke? Like, he had, when Taylor Heineke ran for a touchdown, you saw, you know, Chase Young runs up, he's putting his finger on the guy's back, like, this is my quarterback, and it just shows how desperate for a quarterback Washington is. They just want somebody to believe in, somebody that they can trust will make plays and be good with the football And, man, I'll tell you, I don't know if, I, I honestly, I couldn't tell you whether or not Taylor Heineke was a one-hit wonder uh, you know, there are guys who occasionally have a great game and you just never hear from them again. Matt Flynn had an amazing game a couple years ago in the Week 17 game between the Packers and I think the Lions, I believe. Got a long contract in Seattle, then got beat up by Russell Wilson. The rest of the history of Matt Flynn is forever forgotten. But I will say that what we saw from Taylor Heineke, if he can ever do that again, it, that's legitimately good football. Like This is not a, an example of a guy who... Got lucky a couple times, threw some screen passes, had a couple handoffs, and you know played very well. No, Taylor Heineke was making throw after throw after throw into tight windows, making great decisions. And uh, I don't know if he can do it again. I hope he can. I like Taylor Heineke. I, there's no guarantee he's going to be a great NFL quarterback from this point on. 
but what we saw on Saturday was, without a shadow of a doubt, really good high-level quarterback play. And, uh, oh, my God, it made me so happy. I love watching the guy play and do well. Cool story and a cool guy.